Programme Director for Port of Dover's Dover Western Docks Revival Project, or DWDR. DWDR is a, a one-off opportunity for the regeneration of Dover. Operationally, we're going to uh, construct two new deep water cargo berths, uh, a refrigerated cargo terminal, and ultimately 13 hectares of reclaimed land for port-related uh, development. As well as that, we're creating uh, public facilities, we're creating a new marina and a new waterfront, which hopefully will act as a catalyst uh, for the ongoing development of Dover. Operationally, the port will allow us to separate the cargo and the ferry operations, which currently both coexist in the eastern docks. The new facility in the western docks will allow us to accommodate the needs of our existing customers and also provide uh, facilities for the growth of the cargo business, which is ever-changing. With our policy of local procurement and sub deliberately supporting the local supply chain, it's estimated that the East Kent economy has already benefited to the tune of £129 million during construction. The project is also aiming to lead a lasting skills legacy. And five apprentices and numerous graduate engineers have already been engaged on it. Construction in the marine environment is always challenging and there's always the difficulties of the wind and tide and weather. Uh, on top of that, we've had the challenge of building 2.2 kilometres of key wall uh, in the middle of what is one of the busiest harbours in Europe. But this is just the latest in a very long line of engineering developments within the port. Because of its location, Dover has always been a strategic location for a position for a port and the development of a port goes back to Roman times. During the excavation for the works we've also come across a number of archaeological finds including historic port structures dating from the 1600s and each of these has had to be carefully excavated and recorded to protect the archaeological heritage of the area. Many famous engineers have been involved in the port's development over the centuries. Perhaps the most prominent of these is Thomas Telford, the first president of the ICE, who was engaged by the Duke of Wellington, who was then the Lord Warden of the Sink Ports, to come up with a more permanent port support development. That culminated in the construction of the Wellington Dock, the first enclosed port dock in Dover, which is still here today. Later, Sir John Cood and Sir John Hawkshaw, again both presidents of the ICE, were involved in the design and construction of the outer harms and the breakwater which created the large outer harbour that we see today and in which we're building the DWDR. The need for civil engineers is no different today and on this project specialist civil engineers have been engaged in all areas of the design and construction of the works that you see here. Personally, I think civil engineering is a fantastic profession. In a career spanning some 30 years in marine civil engineering, I've had the opportunity to work in a whole number of interesting places, both home and overseas. Civil engineering is all about solving problems and creating, building a lasting legacy for future generations. If you look behind me, we've got a dredger bringing in sand for the land reclamation. The sand's been spread and put behind New, a new retaining wall built out of steel piles. In the foreground there's a crane and engineers involved in constructing a new pier. And in the background you can see the new refrigerated cargo terminal being constructed. That's an 8,500 square metre building. In, the, in front of that you can see piles going in for foundations and you can see material being recycled for use in the final surfacing. And everything you can see behind me has been planned designed, managed by civil engineers. 